Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to find the square of number using a plus b whole square. And this method is going to be very easy and efficient compared to the conventional method and it is very easy to find and with fast calculation. Okay, so a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square okay so using this formula i want to find the square of 32 that is 32 square so before finding the square of this number i will divide the given number into two parts that is 3 and 2 so i will take the first part as a and second part as b so what is a square that is 9 and second is 2ab so 2 into 3 into 2 so that is going to be 12 okay and then b square that is 4 so if you consider these both the parts the rightmost part contains only one digit so that's why i will start from rightmost and i will take the first digit as it is so this one is going to be contain two digits so i will take leftmost part oh, sorry rightmost most part that is 2 as it is and I will move this 1 to here that is 9 plus 1 is 10 so 1024 why I am taking here only 2 because the rightmost part contain only one digit that's why I took 2 as it is and I moved this one to the left side okay so the value of 32 square is 1024 so let's consider another example finding 66 square value equal to so we have to divide this one into two parts so this one is a and this one is b a square that is 36 2 a b so that is going to be 72 and b square that is 36 so the rightmost part contains only one digit that's why i'm taking the rightmost parts one digit as it is that is six so i am moving this one here that one will become 75 so the rightmost part in 75 is 5 i am taking 5 as it is and moving 7 here so 36 plus 7 so that is going to be 43 so the square of 66 is 4356 okay so now i will show you how to find the square of three digit number using a plus b whole square formula for example i want to find the square of 122 square okay so now i have to divide this number into two parts okay so here i can divide this number in two parts in two ways one is 1 comma 22 and another one is 12 comma 2 okay if you take 1 comma 22 the 22 is a very bigger number okay compared to 12 and 2 so the calculations are going to be very complex so that's why I'm going to be take 12 and 2 so here you have to remember whenever you are doing a dividing a three digit number into two parts in this method you have to make sure that both the numbers are smaller okay so that is the you have to remember here so I'm dividing this number into 12 comma 2 a square that is 144 okay 2 a b that is going to be 48 and then b square 4 so here the rightmost part contains only one digit so that's why i'm taking this one digit as it is and this first eight as it is rightmost part so i'm moving four here so that is going to be one four eight so the value of 120 square is 148 okay the same you can start from leftmost side also so the leftmost side contains two digits so take two digits as well, that is 14 and move this four to right side so if you add here this one will become 88 so the left most part contains two digits that's here also 88 so i am taking that 80 as, as it is and then move to the next one so we have only single digits so i am taking that one is as it is so again the 122 square if you start from left or if you start from right so the value is going to be the same so using this method we can find the square of number very easily okay and fast compared to the conventional measure thank you for watching this video
please subscribe to my channel